snuff smells like ammonia. Ooh, eek. Yucky. Ishy poo poo. Yes, many new snuffers are unpleasantly surprised the first time they crack open a tin of nasal snuff and smell a sometimes very strong scent of ammonia. Where does that horrible smell come from? Well, it comes from one of two places, and the remedy is real simple, so don't panic. Ammonia, or the smell of ammonia, is a natural byproduct of the fermentation product with many types of snuff. As the snuff continues to work its magic, as the flavors continue to blend and so on, if the fermentation process is continuing, there's going to be a little natural ammonia created. It's not as much as it smells like. If you took a bottle of your basic household cleaning ammonia and took one drop and then divided that drop into a hundred parts, that's what you'd have in actual ammonia in the tin. But it does smell because you're opening a, uh, often a vacuum sealed tin, sometimes just sealed very well with tape. Not a lot of air gets in there and the ammonia smell comes out. Some manufacturers, I don't know if this is still the case, but also some manufacturers used to steam clean the tins before packaging snuff in them using ammonia. So I hope that answers your question as to where the smell comes from. Now, how do you get rid of it? Time and air circulation. Yes, I know, circulating air is one of the enemies of the quality of snuff. But if you just open the tin let it sit out where there's a little air gently moving through the room and let it sit for 24 to 36 hours it will greatly improve and over time any residual ammonia scent will just go away now if you don't want any ammonia scent you absolutely have to purge it out of there it's kind of a pain in the neck to do it but you can spread the snuff out on a big tray or a big piece of paper a big plate so get more of it gets exposed to the air all at once and let it sit for the same 24 to 36 hours and then try not to get snuff all over yourself when you put it back in the tent. But that you can do that as well. You also asked, how do I not burn my brain? Well, I don't know if you're talking about a chemical interaction or a chemical allergy sensitivity you might have inside your nose, or if you're actually just taking the snuff up way, way, way too high. Look, I'm going to repeat this again because it's the most common mistake I see new snuff takers doing. You are not sniffing an, Ill an illegal stimulant drug. You are not snorting meth. You are not snorting coke. You're not even snorting aspirin power or af powder or aspirin nasal spray. You're taking nasal snuff. So what you want to do, I'll take out this little tin here of toke. What's it called? Multi-berry, triple berry, very berry, scary berry, Larry's left berry. I'm not sure. Barry Obama. Now, see this? You just sniff just gentle, 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 gentle. You're sniffing, it's like you're sniffing a petite little baby flower. You don't want to snort it like your Pablo fucking Escobar. Don't do that. Sniff like this. Watch. And voila, instant happiness and no burn. Now, as I said, keeping it in the lower part of your nose does a couple of things. You get more nicotine for one thing out of it. Seriously, you really do get more nicotine than if you try to snort it up here. Secondly, there's space in your nose and the aromas have a chance to expand, mix with some air and really get into your olfactory apparatus, your olfactory bulb up behind your eyes. And that's very important. You don't want to stick sniff up there. So that answers brain. If it's a chemical you're sensitive to, just try different snuff. From the dank basement, answering questions for Oz, continuing with the party as I know we shall. This has been part six, I think. Yeah, part six. <laughs>